this this week <laughs> so I remember saying um, we were either gonna play Cult of the Lamb or Pow Roll today but Stardew Valley <laughs> how's everybody hope everybody's doing well this Friday morning or whatever morning or time it is Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Our first experience on the floor of the pit was like horrible. <laughs> I feel like it's just, uh, I feel like it's only worth it if you're like in Korea. Sorry, my dog. If you're like in Korea, because in Korea they actually like enforce the sitting rule. Because you're supposed to just sit on the floor, but nobody like listens to that. And everyone ends up standing like at the very beginning. But they literally tell you, like, in the concerts, stay seated if there's chairs. But if it's a pit, it's different. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dee Dee uh, was really upset she couldn't go this year. That's, I think, the first Twice concert she missed in a while. And she's just been watching clips of it on TikTok. Because it was like 6 degrees chilly in the spring, can get windy, but it's nice, like, October-ish. That's good. 60 degrees does sound really good right now. Especially here where it's really chilly. Hi Candy Jan, welcome to stream. I was on the floor once where it felt like called Bala in a mosh pit so I almost got knocked down a car. <laughs> I feel like um, floors at a rock band concert, you gotta expect a, a mosh pit. <laughs> Japanese rock band. It was an experience. Um, sitting, or not sitting, standing for three hours and then jumping and then um, fighting for your life is definitely an experience. <laughs> it was a lot of fun though. Definitely recommend if you're like into that. Yeah, and it was actually for the guitarist crowd surf too. Uh, our, our, our band did not do that. a lot of crowd interaction like they would make us like get on the floor and then when the beat drops to like get up but yeah i think rock bands are like are very interactive with the crowd it's very fun but i feel like getting almost knocked down a couple times is part of the experience because <laughs> i too was almost knocked down a couple times um and there was like some some really really loud people <laughs> like right next to me <laughs> one okay rock so like o n e o k r o c k one okay rock they're really good uh they remind me a lot of like lincoln park in terms of like vocals i really love 
loved Linkin Park growing up. One of my saddest regrets is like not being able to see Linkin Park live. Because like by the time I could afford it, or like once I became adult, you know, tragedy struck and I'm unfortunately not able to see them as like a full group live. Yeah, one of Gay Rock's really good. Their music has changed a lot over the years. So they're a lot more um like alternative rock now, but um they still put in, you know, those bangers. <laughs> but yeah. So far, that's interesting. Yeah, 
me and my sister when we got into our concert phase. We were going to like a lot. And then, um, it was like back to back. It's very tiring. <laughs> I feel like the traveling part is very tiring. I just wish they would like go to my city all the time so I didn't have to travel. <laughs> Baby photo cards. Yeah, those are the good ones. I would love to go to gay ones. I like a lot of gay pop girl groups. Oh, really? Who do you stand? Yeah, they're really fun. Gay pop concerts are so friendly. Um, there's like a lot of freebies that you can get just by showing up early. And, uh, yeah. And they're really quick to give compliments. Our best being small and cute, I suppose. <laughs> for real, people dress up for my favorite They match the album theme. Yeah! Or like a, their favorite era. Like, you can tell when someone has, like, a favorite album era, you know, like, 2005, or, like, 2012, or, like, early, early 2000s, and you're like, wow, that's an OG fan. <laughs> I really like Red Velvet, Blackpink, ooh, nice, nice. Though, <laughs> unfortunately, I feel like the Blackpink concerts are super expensive. <laughs> I mean, if you don't really care about the seats, I think the ones that are like, you know, the ones where you can't really see them, but you can at least watch them live are pretty affordable, but like the really good seats, they, I think they reach up to like 3000 <laughs> and that's for like one seat. So the black pink one might be a bit hard, but red velvet, I feel like, yeah, that's a good one. That's a pretty affordable one, yeah. I've never been to a red velvet or black pink concert though. Blackpink is expensive because all those are in slums and they would like to show out. Yeah, they do. Also, they know their power and they know their, their fans will pay for it and I feel like it's a little bit sad, but the industry, man. <laughs> it's the industry. Also, I know I have like Stardew Valley mods that I was using before. Nothing crazy, just like cosmetic stuff and quality of life stuff, but I'm very much a modding noob, and I wasn't sure how to update the mods and get the game loaded with the new 1.6 update, so today we're kind of just, um, playing it vanilla, which I think is fine. I like vanilla Stardew a lot. I think my new generation favorite is New Jeans. New Jeans and XG, but um, nothing crazy. And yeah, Twice is my alt too. But just because they've been here so long and they've changed genres so much, I like groups that evolve. That's why I like rock bands. Rock bands, I tend to think they like change a lot. Like um, Paramore, Linkin Park, One Okay Rock. Like they, uh, they stay versatile. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch to the game now. Yeah, I love Paramore. I think that was the last cost concert we went to here in Seattle. Oh, uh, it was the October one. So much fun. So much energy. I think that's the scary thing for me, though, when I go to, like, concerts. I have anxiety, so like the adrenaline rush is kind of bad for me because I remember at like the very, very end of Paramore, I was like, oh my god, I think I'm having a little bit of an attack. <laughs> and I was like dry, dry heaving in my car on the way home. <laughs> but it was really fun besides that, it was so much fun. Well, I'm glad, Rob, that you enjoyed your concert and that you had a great time and got to enjoy the weather because it's so cold here. Um, and Candy, thank you so much for sharing your raw concert experience. I think you caught in something like I haven't experienced yet, which is like crowd surfing. I think I would rather be the one surfing though because, again, I think I'm too short to actually do anything in terms of like 
actually being able to hold the artist. <laughs> but here it is. We're gonna get started in Stardew Valley. And I'm really excited. I really feel like this is everybody's go-to farming game. I think the farming game era has kind of died down. Don't you guys think? Like, there's less farming cozy games coming out. And the cozy games have kind of just been like, Hi Joey, welcome to stream. Glad you can make it. Are you at work? And if you're at work, good luck at work. <laughs> Stay safe. If it's too loud, let me know, okay? The game. Because I'm whispering, I don't want you guys to not be able to hear me, but... I heard there's new dog breeds and new cat breeds. I don't know, I have a dog last time. Oh, this one has a collar. Yeah, new farm. I think it's this one, Metal Lens Farm, it's right under beach. It's not the best rainbow, but there's a chewy bluegrass that animals love. You start with two chickens. We're naming, I already have a name for it, Sleepy Meadows. Oh, I can't put Meadows on Sleepy Meadow Farm. We're, we're gonna go with the usual chicha. And my favorite thing. Food. It's between food or sleep. Or my dogs. <laughs> there are only three things that keep me happy in life. Yeah. It's so cute. I saw the little... I, I watched uh, Jubilee Whispers a little bit and that's how I found out the new update was out. This is the, the dog I have in my other farm. But I feel like I can't choose between this one or this one because this one has a cute little bandana, an accessory. And I like the floppy ears of this one. <laughs> but we can also go with a cat. I want a black cat. I have like a soft spot for black cats. The game audio is perfect. But thank you. Food and dogs. Food, dogs, and sleep. I am a simple. I am a simple man. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're gonna go quickly. I know last time I like to spend a lot on. This, so we're not gonna do that. My hair has grown quite a bit since the last time we made a character. So ah, we braids are so cute. The braids are so cute, though. A very farm girl. Very farm girl. And then I'm gonna make. This is fine. Candy pink. Do you have a new keyboard? Sounds very talky, which is like so perfect. Yeah. I got a new keyboard for my birthday. It's ASMR. Or ASMR creamy. I like to call it because it's so creamy. I try not to get too soggy. I opted for a creamy board so it's softer. Let's go with this teal. I want to be bright. It's like blue. Oh my god, I don't want accessories. I want a beard. <laughs> also, if you hear my dog, I apologize. What is this? <laughs> Bell bottom jeans. More like bell bottom skirt. <laughs> is your alone at Zavatsumi? Yeah, it's just past my shoulders right now. Maybe. Let's go white. Can you imagine a white, like a farmer wearing all white?
think we're good. We're just gonna remember the hair is 34. All these braids are cute too. I want braids. Let's go back to the long braids though. 34. Alright, we got metal and farm. No plaid. <laughs> now we're doing cottage. We're a cottage girl. We, we grew up in the forest. We're gonna skip the intro just so we can get straight into it. And I think today we are just going to do this doggy. Look at its eyes. I can't choose. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time choosing. I heard we can unlock more pets when we get like full hearts with our current pets. So I'm excited for that. Um, I love a good dog. Mine is in but I still love it. Have the razor blackwood chroma. Mine says that age has something. Also, do I have a mustache? I think I had a mustache. I almost played with a mustache, guys. Let's get started. And I think it broke. Okay. <laughs> I got scared. Okay, guys. We're almost in the game. one of the mods I had though, like I could see everybody on the map. See, there's the blue grass. Metal and farms has blue chewy grass. Get, get out the way. I think this will be the new main. Um, oh, where's the, where's the gate? Oh, the gate is over here. Close. See, it kind of like 
is he up here? Or is he down there? He's up here, Mr. Linus. A stranger, hello. Hello. What's this? Railroad. This looks like something. I don't remember. But I feel like, um, I might play this off stream quite a bit. Same with my, like, oh look, it goes straight to our chicken farm. Oops, wrong place. Just clear that out. I see, <laughs> look at Gretchen doing the stretches. Stretch, Gretchen, stretch. <laughs> and Brunilde wants to escape. Alright, let's explore a bit. Let's see if the blue grass is everywhere. Gosh, there's so much wood. Oh yeah, look. Blue grass. Should I harvest it? What happens if I harvest the bluey blue, blue grass? Bluey, bluey. I just said bluey. Nothing happened. I don't think anything happened. It's so pretty. I kind of wish the whole place was blue. Instead of like green and blue. Saloon, sorry. Saloon. Now we can meet everyone we haven't met yet. I think it's interesting that um, Concern 8 put his actual friend in here and made him like kind of an alcoholic bum. <laughs> Shane. And uh, I saw his friend's face. He does look like Shane. It's completely based off of him. Just so I can start putting stuff away. 
side. Oh, okay. Oh, that scared me. <clears throat> Let me close Br Brunilda's Br Br Bronies and Gretchen's thingy. Yeah, so cute. So tiny. So baby. Close that. I need to make torches too. It's so dark here. I'm gonna make torches. Am I able to make torches yet? I can, but I need sap. Hmm. Oh, campfire. Let's make a chest first. Let me get all the sap and then I'll make some torches. Because it's way too dark. I do not like torches near the front of our house for now. And one right here and one right here. And then we'll just kind of just clear this out tomorrow and clear, um, put some torches around like the corners or something or in between. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. first day of Stardew, and then I think we'll try to explore the place a bit more, and see where else the bluegrass is, or if there's anything else different, like the waterfall. Now we're at day two, spring year one. My goal for this, um, for this farm is to make it to year three. I think I was able to make it to year two on my other one. <laughs> I'm really bad. I, like, keep making new farms. <laughs> and now the weather for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. All perfect for crops, but I don't have any yet. All right, put my backpack as well. This is the one Pierre's got you. Our affordable size 24 backpack. How much? You just got back. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Is it a fishing rod? at the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Okay. We'll do, sir. Let me just go pet my chickens. I'm gonna go pet my chickens. You guys awake yet? Oh, you're still. Okay. So, to see, the waterfall's really pretty. Let's go towards the left and see what what's the up up over there. What we can see over here. I'm trying to just move. I'm not really getting anywhere. Oh, it's like a river. Where's the cave? I wonder if there's a cave in here. There's more blue grass. Also, Grandpa's grave. Where's Grandpa's grave? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck over here, too. Oh, we have a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. This is the end of this side. I think it is. Wait, I'm confused. There should be a cave. Did I pass the cave? I'm scared to get rid of the blue grass. <laughs> Maybe it's up here. No, it's not. Maybe there is no cave, but usually there is a cave. Because then, like, how is Demetrius going to come and tell me, would you like mushrooms or fruit? to the town now. Oh, it's a lot, it feels a lot smaller. Sorry, dog. It feels a lot smaller than the beach farm for some reason. Oh, hi. Perfect timing. <laughs> she ran out. If she was like late and she had like a piece of toast in her mouth, we would collide. There's nobody here. All right. somewhere else. I can't go in here because I'm not, yeah, I'm not friends with her. Uh -huh. Let's 
few bombed right now, Dragon's Dogma. I have no idea why. I've never played Dragon's Dogma before, so this is gonna be like my intro to the series. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. So, I'm gonna do a bit of my own research and see what's up, what's happening, why it's mostly negative on Steam. And then maybe I don't have to do the poll, and then we can just, I can just go with my original plan of playing Baldur's Gate, which I've been planning to play for a long, long, long time. So excited for that one. I just thought Dragon's Dogma had like a really cool vocation or class system. And like combat. But yeah, it's it's pretty much in the red right now.
here ever since I moved from the city. We have geese and then um, a lot of birds. We don't really hear like a lot of birds in the city. Um, and now trains. It's a lot of trains. Just give the fish. Yeah. I'll keep the green algae because if anything I'll eat it. <laughs> for my skin or something. It's raining right now. Like, actually raining right now. In real life, and now it's raining in game. I can't escape the rain. The rain is my life now. <laughs> There's so much trash in this river. Again, so much trash in this river. Maybe I should go to the beach. Most likely, most likely encounter trash over there. Maybe get more fish. More likely to get fish. Very calm. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> There's like nothing here at our river. What was our objectives again? Level one farming. Okay. Let's get the 
for some seeds. Yeah, we'll get the seeds first. I keep forgetting seeds are like the e the plants are the easiest way, or crops are like the easiest way to get money in the beginning. So I think we'll just grow some parsnips, maybe. Oh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Alright. Let's go down here. I don't think a lot of people would be out and about because of the rain today. Um, I feel like I should have made my way to the beach earlier. I'm not gonna forage. Oh, actually, this is new. Muscle. Actually, do I have enough wood to fix this? throw you away. <laughs> it probably came back. Yes, finally. Fish. Oh, not doing too great. Okay. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Special item 
machines at work, okay? Okay, so I haven't met him. we haven't because most people will be inside right indoors it'll be easier to trap them and talk to them i think we have time to do that um i don't think no we talked to pam pam was at the saloon as always so pam wasn't too hard to find let's see go downstairs i've talked to you already i think Sam and his brother are in their house, usually. I think this is their house. I, th I know it's one of these. Yeah, there they are. Oh, Sam's missing. Oh, a stranger, my name's Vincent. But you seem okay, no. <laughs> oh, there they are, okay. Hey, I'm Sam, good to meet you. Jody. Alright, um, I talked to Jody already previously. Let's check this house now. Anybody home? She's home, but in her room. Alright. Uh, did I talk to you? No, Playa. How was your first night in the old cottage? It's actually really cozy. I don't remember all the cottage or the cabin um, designs. Oh, he calls it at 3 p.m. Okay, I haven't talked to him. I think we're going to get along great. Don't assume. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to have to go to the forest and meet the wizard, though. Alright. Who else have I not met? I use the mods. <laughs> the ones that make them pop up on the map so I don't have to like look for them like this. I think I talked to Gus already. They have a deal. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have time to go to the wizard, but we're gonna try and go to the wizard. The wizard's like all the way to the left of the forest. So we're gonna see if we can beat the clock. And then I think Elliot will be the last one that we have to talk to. I think it's crazy that our torches don't, like, disappear from the rain. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a seed. I think that's a seed. Or, like, an acorn. A tree seed. Corn and pine cones are tree 
some seashells and then come back but then I won't have like room for seeds that's the thing we can drop this we can throw this this is easily attainable so is the sand I'm keeping the wood wood is valuable resource ah teacher 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 yes Penny <laughs> this is Penny I keep confusing Penny with Robin and Leia I think it's because they all have orange hair <laughs> Yeah, look The orange hair sisters It's my bad Maru looked like in her um her nurse 
Less like a body crop and more like a gingerbread man, right? Doesn't that look like a gingerbread man? Hold on, someone's at the door. Okay. Just plant the seeds here. So it's a little annoying. I guess we can like let me just add the other parsnips here. And then we'll do a body crop on this side. Or no, they can hold hands. <laughs> they can hold hands over here. Oh, too close. They will actually be holding hands. Okay, one one square away. Um, mangoes, but I live in the Pacific. 
Pacific Northwest, there's no way I can grow mangoes here. <laughs> I don't think I have the right climate. Alright, I think we're good. We have our first crops growing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back to fishing. Or, no, actually, let's go check out the wizard. Hopefully this time the wizard will be open. Or maybe there's like supposed to be some sort of trigger before I can see the wizard. But yeah, I have the seeds now. I just need to get um, the proper equipment, like pots. There's like certain pots I'm supposed to use. Because the seeds are too small to be just planted straight into the um, ground. Like, um, they're not going to grow properly. So I have to get pots. Gloves. So I don't hurt myself. <laughs> Actually, wouldn't mind like the dirt under the nails because that would remind me of my grandma. My fascination for gardening comes from my grandma because she was really good at it. She had a green thumb, and I remember her. She could grow anything. And I really want to recreate the garden of like my childhood because she was again really good at it. <laughs> I d unfortunately do not have her gardening abilities, and I will have to rely on the internet. <laughs> grow my first stuff. Okay, I think there's supposed to be a trigger event. I don't remember. It's been a while since I started a new farm. So, I guess the wizard won't be done for a while. He's literally the last person, though. So I really want to get the reward for that, because I don't remember the reward. But we have to reach farming level 1 and, and make our scarecrow. Should we make a campfire? I think a campfire would be really cute. Alright, I guess we could just go fishing for today. We have a lot of energy. And we need to make up the money while we wait for our crops to grow. Because we won't be able to harvest them anytime soon. Hello, Samwell. What's a radicast? Yeah, that's why I'm not too afraid. And I try to like hold my excitement and not try to buy every single like seed that I wanted to grow because there's like bell peppers. I really want to grow bell peppers. I love bell peppers. My favorite thing to do with bell peppers is to like stuff them with meat and cheese. Like stuffed bell peppers, baked stuffed bell peppers is so good. I definitely recommend. And you don't even have to, like, if you're not, you don't eat meat, you don't have to fill it up with meat. You can just do, like, other veggies. It's a very versatile dish. Um, what was the other seeds? I think there was, um, there was, like, assorted potatoes, which is what I wanted, but I don't know, man. I guess everyone wanted that because there was no more, so I had to settle for the red potatoes. And I found it like a TikTok hack, because um, we usually use Yukon gold potatoes for our di everyday dishes, because we like making french fries. And um, they said if you let your potatoes kind of like grow, you know, like sometimes they have those like roots that grow on it. They're called eyes, I think, like eyes, E-Y-E-S. You can take those, sorry, you can take those, cut it off, and you can use those as like potato seeds and it was like a hack TikTok has a lot of gardening hacks my favorite one is the one where like you can just go to I don't think it's technically stealing but you can just go to like any store that sells succulents snip take a pair of like clippers or something like plant clippers snip a couple leaves here and there of the succulent what you want and then just grow that and you'll have your own succulent for free. <laughs> and then the same thing with like green onions. You can take the ends of green onions and then just plant that and you can grow new green onions. Sustainability. That's what I'm learning from TikTok. But that, again, I think it just depends on like how well you are at growing things. 
Okay, let's go to the forest and get some leek or something. Let's go harvest stuff. Forage. I think it's on this side, though. Uh-oh. Pins and needles, you guys. I can't feel my toes. I'm scared to move. Obviously, um, that should be a reminder to stretch. I've been streaming for a while. Unless you've fallen asleep. That's fine, too. Oh, we got dandelions now. Nice. But yeah. Oh, I saw this TikTok of this guy. And there was like a big puddle. Like a, and the puddle was almost like a pond in front of him. And then he put like these special sunglasses. And then it kind of like reduced the glare or like the shine of the water. And there was an alligator in it. And that was like so scary. <laughs> and then it was basically everyone in the comments were like, there's a saying in Florida, if it's a body of water, just assume there's an alligator in it. And that terrified me. <laughs> so I'm like, is it any body of water? And then I was like thinking of like kiddie pools, pools, puddles on the side of the road. Um, I'm gonna put one dandelion and one daffodil in here for the community center. And then the other two I'm gonna sell. And it's 2 p.m. I think I'm gonna go fishing by the river. I'm too lazy to go to the... Too lazy to go to the, um, beach right now. <laughs> I feel like I'd waste too much time walking over there anyway. I'm gonna go to the river river because I feel like the waterfall was just full of trash. Also, I still don't know where my grandpa's grave is. Where is my grandpa's grave? I'm supposed to be somewhere here to the left of the garden. I don't know where it is. But yeah, I actually enjoyed fishing. I want to try crabbing next or squidding. But, I don't know the place we went to. I thought I was gonna have to wait longer for fishes to actually take, like, bite. But maybe the place, the lake we were at, the fishes were just very active or very hungry. Because, again, we had perch for days. And I'm like, I don't even remember the taste of perch anymore, because it's all trash. squid to eat. <laughs> I'm very much the type like, what, whatever I catch, if it's not against the law, I would like to eat it. Okay. I don't think I'd want to go hunting though. Hunting just seems really sad. Fishing's also sad because you're effectively like ki killing the fish when it's out of the water. But I feel like hunting, it's just the visual of it, it's so much more brutal. Like the blood, the act of like watching the, the um, animal cry. Because I don't think fish cry when they die. I've never heard a fish make a noise, except when they splash around. thought of being pescatarian before, but I, I can't give up meat. I don't know, it's, I, it's either the, like, Filipino in me, we love meat too much, but, or our dishes, we have too many dishes that involve meat, because I'm pretty sure there's, like, a lot of Filipinos that thrive off of just veggies, like, vegan, vegetarian Filipinos, but not me, can it be me? So I was, like, pescatarian, maybe, but then I was, like, oh, I miss steak. I miss chicken. I miss bacon. I didn't last like a week. Also, where's the fish? There's no fish. Like, don't get me wrong, I love fish. I love sushi. <laughs> and, um, there's a lot of fish dishes in Filipino cuisine, Asian cuisine. I'm just very weak 
well, no discipline. Is my river dead? <laughs> Is there like no life in my river? So yeah, to all of like the pescatarians, vegans, vegetarians, you guys are strong, you guys are brave. <laughs> when you're raised for it because then I feel like when you're raised to eat something you can't really miss what you never had, right? But I feel like that's horrible to like, unless it's like religion or diet, diet reasons. I think it's horrible to like deprive your kid of the cuisine experience, like let them try everything that they want to try and then let them decide what they don't want to eat when they're older kind of thing. So yeah. You guys, what is this? The only thing I got was effectively usable as green algae and Joja Cola. I'm, I'm not making any money today. Sadly. Hold on, my dog needs help getting on the bed. I'll be back. I forgot to pause, and now I lost time. <laughs> also, if you ever have small dogs, don't baby them. I know you want to cuddle them and spoil them and baby them, but there's consequences when they're older. Because now my dog, ha, oh, get rid of you. <laughs> we just get rid of the trash now. Oops. Because when they're older, Mines can't jump on my bed anymore because she can, but she wants to be carried onto it and she will cry until I carry her onto it. <laughs> my friend's dog is addicted to lap naps. Mine's tail and neck. I've woken up many times being smothered by my dogs, but because she was sleeping on my neck. <laughs> why people with big dogs how do you not suffocate in your sleep when your dog lies on top of you <laughs> did you just evolve and adapt also it's really dark it's a little bit scary the river is really pretty though it's like a glowing a shade of blue okay i'm heading home this was not a profitable day <laughs> or a productive day my proficiency went up, but I feel like I had more fish. Oh, do you guys hear the howling? That's my neighbor's husky. It's really sad. Because, you know, huskies are very social animals. They didn't get him a friend. And so now when he's left home alone or outside, he just cries and howls. And it's very, like, disheartening to just hear it. So yeah, if you hear howling, don't worry, it's from my side. It's um, my neighbor's husky. Alright, going to bed. Let's see tomorrow's weather. I'm not going to check the fortune. Um, if you're new to Stardew Valley or if you didn't know, the fortune basically lets you know if it's a good day to go mining or not. The better your luck is, the better it is to go mining. And the worse your luck is, just don't go mining. I mean, you can still go. Nothing's stopping you. It's just not a good day to go mining. So, I only check it if I'm gonna go mining the next day. So, I mainly just check weather and, um, like, recipe. The recipe channel thingy. Yeah, huskies are very, like, social creatures. So, if you get a husky, make sure they have a friend or you're home a lot because, uh, they get really 
said really fast. I mean, it makes sense. They're the closest to wolves, right? They're a pack, a pack animal. So, like, they need a pack. A pack is, like, more than one. <laughs> if there was a full moon. Oh. <laughs> now this one howls whatever. Malamutes are huge. They are, but just in terms of, like, also, I'm gonna end it here. It's effectively 12.30. Oh my gosh. I almost streamed for two hours again. I've been trying to do, like, shorter streams because I've been getting sick a lot. That's why I haven't been able to stream as often, but I got so invested into this game. This is so fun. I forgot. Stardew Valley, no matter how many times I restart this game, it's still fun. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I've done this beginning thing, like, six times already. <laughs> but, I think I'm gonna end stream. So, thank you guys for joining me. But yeah, Malamutes are like huskies. But they're, like, really big. I think, I don't, I'm not really an expert on Malamutes. I just know they're huge. They're very much an expert pet. You do not get a Malamute if you are a beginner pet, like, owner. But, yeah, um, that was the Stardew Valley Meadowlands farm. You get two chickens from in the beginning, and you get a new thing called bluegrass, which apparently farm animals love to eat. Um, it's blue, chewy grass. I don't know anything else, really. We haven't seen much yet. I think the animal tab is new unless I haven't played for a while and that was before the 1.6 update, but yeah. If you've fallen asleep, I will keep it quiet. Yeah, thank you for joining Anthony and Neko. Thank you, thank you. I hope you guys have a good day too. And for everyone who was just hanging out, lurking, or just listening, um, thank you for joining as well. I really appreciate it for hanging out with me. CD, see you do. CD, see you do. <laughs> I don't know why that was uh, funny to me. I will definitely be playing more of this. I might actually do a couple of videos on my channel on this because, I don't know, I haven't done a Stardew Valley video. Let that go. I haven't done a Stardew Valley video on my channel yet or in a while. I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely gonna try and progress off stream. Um, I, if I'm gonna have a stream, it'll probably be next Thursday again. Uh, Thursday, Fridays are my stream schedules. And yeah, I usually schedule it a day before, at least 12 hours before the actual stream. So if anything, just check out the channel or keep your notifications on if you are interested in the next stream. But other than that, I have nothing really to say except have a good weekend, guys. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. And, um, be kind, honestly. Be nice. It's springtime, guys. Time to be new you. New you. Be a new kinder you. So here are the emojis, and I'll see you guys when I see you. <laughs>